Hi, everybody. Welcome to Calgary. It is a stampede-like atmosphere here tonight. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabolski for EA Sports. Usually all the rock stars sit in the final preseason game in football. Different story here in hockey tonight. Now, once the rosters get squeezed down, some teams leave their vets out of the last game. Both teams here have pretty good numbers in this game, but this is all about the bubble, guys, and who's going to separate themselves one last time. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Kings start with possession as we are now underway. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that one's turned away. Los Angeles on the attack. That pass goes a little sideways. Musa quickly over to Paul Mary. Calgary's on the attack. Centering pass. A shot. He scores! Nothing boring about that. Sean Monaghan capitalizes. Lots of time left in this period. The Flames lead it 1-0. Monahan's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. LA's gained possession along the boards. Keeps hold of the puck. The Kings gain control of it. Big play inside the defensive zone. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turns it away. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Flames have taken a 1-0 lead. Calgary's won the faceoff. And now he moves it to Anderson. Takes the feed. Comes up with the stop. LA's moving it up the ice. Let's the wrister fly. Oh, a clutch save! Riddick's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name, and I don't know how long. Ray, it's almost like one team forgot to show up tonight here. Well, they're getting here. They're slowly getting to the game, and the coach has just about lost his patience with them. They need it now, and he's gone to the rookie to see if he can help spark them. The Flames have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. The Kings win it. Quick feed to King. Receives the pass. Great reflexes. Another save. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Comes up with the stop. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Stepan's gaining momentum. Manages to hang on. Quick pass to Lindholm. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. And he feeds it down to King. Gets the puck over to Hoffman. Not able to connect. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Battle along the boards. Here in the late goings of the period, Calgary's up one zip. LA's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. The Kings looking against the half wall. Can't connect. Grabbed along the board by Hoffman. Here's a short pass to Kopitar. Comes out to play the puck. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Quick. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And makes the save. Moves it to Kachuk. Calgary's got it into the offensive zone. 
One minute left. Inside the final minute of the first here. Icing the call, and you can't really stall much these days for a faceoff. No, can they you? changed this rule a little bit ago, a couple of years, where the defensive team would get their first guy kicked out on purpose, and then the other guy would fiddle around till he went in. Now it's just a warning, and they drop the puck right away. Slides it across to Kopitar. Calgary's got the puck here in the open ice, and that pass goes awry. The setters will glide into the dot. The first period comes to a conclusion. Calgary's got the start they wanted. They get on the board quickly, and they take a 1-0 lead into intermission. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go as period number two, puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Los Angeles prides themselves in being a possession team. Well, they haven't had it very much tonight. He scores! Aye, aye, captain! That change of direction's tough for the goalie to follow. It's past him before he can react. LA's even things up here to start this second period. Nobody seems to be able to get the upper hand here. I've been really impressed with how well played this has been. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Right in front of the net! From point blank range! Turn that chance aside. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. They've got numbers! Pokes it away in his own end. LA's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends a pass over. Los Angeles gains a hold of it. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Sends it across! Denies him in close. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. LA's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And the puck clears the zone. The Flames have it against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Man advantage fails to deliver, and both teams back playing at even strength with the score still tied. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Monaghan's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Quick pass over to King. Puck knock loose in the neutral zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. King's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves it quickly over to King. Picked up along the wall by Hoffman. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Answered the call on that play. Puck moved over to Palmieri. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And that one's blocked. Feeds the puck to King. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. Slides the puck over to Kachuk. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. The Kings have it in the offensive zone. Hammers a shot, denied by the goaltender. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Slides it over with pace to step on. Nice pass. Shuts him down. 
Quick's play has been outstanding tonight from the time the puck hit the ice. He's been locked in. Great save percentage, and he's a reason they're close in this game. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. Stepan's going off for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Kopitar's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Love save made by Riddick. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Here in the later stages of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Flames win it in the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. Los Angeles has it near the wall. And it's a quick pass to Hoffman. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Still too close to call in this one as the second period comes to an end. Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabalski, ready to bring you period number three. LA's power play is still intact as this period is now underway and they take possession. Made the save on the play. Save made by the goalie. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Los Angeles takes possession along the wall. Hoffman's got it into offensive territory. Right in front, stopped by the goaltender. There's another stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Right to the middle. Snaps it onto the net, and that's blocked. Tries to clear, and manages to clear the zone. Los Angeles takes possession of the puck. Into the offensive end now. Here's the pass. Wrist shot from the slot. That's gloved by Riddick. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. Riddick's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Hoffman. Couldn't connect on that pass. Pinned up along the boards. From the point, they take control of it. Quick pass to Kopitar. Oh, what a save in front. The Flames are in transition. Peary's got it in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Bennett. Takes the puck along the boards. To the front! Los Angeles has it in their own zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Moves the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And he denied that opportunity. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. The Flames will play it through the neutral zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come on the attack. Takes a wrist shot, and that's broken up. Clearing attempt. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. And he gains the zone here. Moves it to Peary. And that's blocked away. They clear the zone. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. From center, they get into the attacking area. Centering pass. Big save.
More than half the period has expired. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Makes the save with the pad! Quick right on top of that chance. Great A spot, great A save. Again, the denial by the goaltender. And he regains control of the puck. They go on the attack through center. To his teammate, denied by Quick. Takes the feed. The Flames grab possession to the puck. Takes the feed from the left side. Last hit of the play. Makes a move in front. Blocker saved by Quick. Takes the pass. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Just here in the late stages of this frame, LA's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. The Kings win the draw. You can wheel the break out now once you win that draw. Slides the puck to King. Strong defensive effort. The Flames really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. A chance in front! Scores! We're all tied up! Oh, let's get to a stage in the game where you think they're not going to be able to find the equalizer. But they stay at it, and they get it done. Calgary's won it. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. The Kings gain possession along the wall. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. Here comes the call. Bookings the call. This is what they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? It is, but, it, but really the problem is you're beat and you panic and you're trying to help. And the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. Regulation time comes to an end. That means we've got some overtime coming up. Get your overtime picks in because they are ready to drop the puck. Calgary's power play fails to capitalize an OT. Really solid work by the penalty killers there. Even in overtime, they don't give up much. Sends it over. Looking to end it, and he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a short pass to Paul Mary. Denies him in front. Handles the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And not much on that one. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Los Angeles takes possession off the draw. Makes the save. He scores! There it is! OT winner!
elsewhere on the ice, how about some of these other storylines about these prospective rookies that are going to crack the roster? And I look at the one here where, boy, for all the hype, I thought he was going to go back to junior. He's going to likely stick. He's going to stick, and he's played well in camp. I'll tell you what, the, what impressed me the most, I knew he could contribute offensively, but it's his two-way game. He is way more complete a package than I think a lot of scouts realize. And I'll tell you what, I'm included in that one as well. Been very pleased with what he's done. Elsewhere around the league, you look at some of the other potential calls.